Hello, Virgos. So last reading I did, I was getting the energy of you moving on from somebody. Um, it was kind of like a fuck boy or fuck girl. It just wasn't really, it wasn't really going anywhere. Um, let's see what energy I can get today. I feel like you guys are getting into new energy now, so that's good. That's something. All right, so for the Virgos that are watching this video, attention and a channel, you guys. This could be an ex, it could be a current partner, a new partner coming in. Let's just see how the cards play out. So for the Virgos that are watching this, please tell me what I need to know about their love lives. What do I need to know about your love lives? What can I tell them? What new energy do we have here? There is new energy, so that's good. That's something. I don't know if it's come in full yet, but I feel it. I feel like there's a shift for you guys. So that's that's good. All right, Virgo viewers. Oh, damn it. I don't need to read those upside down. I keep mixing my cards up. I don't know why. Two of Wands, Ten of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Devil. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. This is some strange energy. Seven of Wands. Some very defensive kind of energy here. Maybe this is what you've been leaving behind. Hmm. King of Swords. We've got the Eight of Cups right there. And we got the King of Swords, and we got the Two of Cups. Okay, interesting. With the Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups here, it's like, you know, I always intuitively read the cards, but I think in this case it actually means a traditional meaning, which is, you know, it's it's just about um, seeing things in like the, like the long-term view, um, trying to be grounded and just being practical, you know what I mean? Because sometimes I look at it like, oh, she's looking at something that's dead. And I think there's a little bit of that there, but I think it's mostly just um, connected to this this Ten of Cups where you're wanting something more stable and long lasting. And it kind of goes with that energy I got before where it's like you were letting like a fuck boy go or a fuck girl go. It's like you, you kind of had some hope that that might've been more stable and that there might've been something um, you know, lasting there that it could have developed into something, but then you kind of let go of that, that fantasy, but it's like you were trying to ground that. You were trying to, you wanted the long term. Um, you were hoping for the long term. You know, with a ton of cups here, this is like joy and happiness. This is like just abundance when it comes to love. It's like, it's finally, it's, it's the last um, suite of the minor arcana when it comes to cups, for the minor, minor arcana at least, you know, ton of cups, it's like you've gotten there. It's like there's no battles left. You're you're good. You have that long-term relationship. You have the stability in your love life. You have what you want, finally. You have, it could be like marriage or commitment. It's like, it's, so, it's a stable relationship that you were seeking and hoping for. But with the Seven of Swords, I feel like that did not really go there. Um... Last, last reading we did, too, you had let that energy go, but I think maybe you're just still processing it, so it's kind of showing what's going on. And this is, look at her, she's kind of saying, screw all of it. She's just like, this is like running away. It's it's running away from things. And this person could have run away, too. It could be somebody with um, commitment issues or something, someone that kind of just like, when things got too serious, they got scared, they freaked out, and they ran away because it was getting too heavy, and they weren't sure if they could handle that commitment. Um, I feel like you kind of ran away too. You're, it's kind of like it's kind of like almost like arguments or like miscommunication here too. It's almost like like you both kind of said screw it. You know, she's got her hands up and she's running away. She's like, I'm not doing this. Um, it's like escaping. Yeah, but I think this person ran too. I think I mean, think the masculine ran. I think that. The relationship was getting too deep and too serious, and I think he's got commitment issues, so I think that he ran from it. I think he got freaked out, and, um, God, this is some weird energy, you guys. I almost feel like maybe you guys need some closure, and that's why you're getting this energy again, because it's like you kind of are like, okay, why did that happen? No, that sucks. And it happened because because they're not able to match you they're not able to give you the commitment you want they've got too many commitment issues they've got too many fears um 
regarding commitment. Um, they just, they just couldn't meet you there. They couldn't, like, you were too, I don't want to say you were too intense for them because it's not you, it's them. You know what I mean? Like, it, it is them. They were not able to, they just, they couldn't, they were below you, basically. They were, they were below you is what it comes down to. And, um... You know, with the devil energy here and the seven of wands, like, look at this energy. Look at how, like, it's not really a good energy. It's just very defensive. It's very, like, it's, like, competitive and defensive without reason. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, this kind of energy that's just, like, drama without reason. You know what I mean? You could have been dating somebody and you're hoping that there was a future there, but there's, like, there's too much drama there and there wasn't enough depth and there wasn't enough, um, they just weren't for you. They weren't, they weren't quite right for you. Um, the devil energy, it's like, it's like these old addictions and patterns that they're in and old fears and they were holding on to that. And with the seven of wands, I kind of think that they were defending that they were like, well, you know, I've been hurt a lot, so I can't commit because I've been through this and this and this. And, um, just like defending the way that they are and defending, like not giving you a commitment and this could be the energy that's coming in that they might like, I feel like they have a lot of pride, but they like kind of miss you and want to talk to you. So I feel like they might come in, but they're going to come in in a way that's like, you're not going to want it. it. You know what I mean? Like, I think that, that you might hear from them or that the, the desire is there, I feel, but I, w I personally would consider not giving that a second chance though, you know, cause with this energy, it's not really good. Um, it's like, yes, you probably will hear from them, but do you want that? Do you want to deal with that again? Um, cause with the devil and seven of wands, like I'm, I'm led to, to read these together. And it's like with the seven of wands, like look at her, she's like competitive, this part this energy, this, that your masculine or your feminine is, um, competitive and defensive and, you know, kind of self-destructive too. And like always on guard and always, you know, it's always a, a knife fight with this person. And what they're defending is this, their energy, what, what they're, what they're defending is their ego and their energy and their fears. They're, you know, they're defending that devil energy that they're in, which is, you know, making excuses for why they can't commit and making excuses for, why they are the way that they are and just, you know, sticking to old patterns and sticking. I feel like this is somebody who got hurt a lot. And instead of like growing, they just say, they just basically said, screw it. I'm like never going to fully give myself to anybody. And they stuck with that. They, that hasn't changed. They're still in that energy. Um, and they, they might always, there's a good chance they're always going to be in that energy to be honest. Um, like they think that their inability to commit to you and their inability to fully love somebody is okay. Like they don't see, that's the problem is that they don't see a problem with it. They actually feel like it's okay for them to be like that with you. They, um, they think their patterns and their habits and their mindset is all okay. Like they think that's normal. They think that's acceptable. They think that they can have their cake and eat it too. And so they're, they're defending themselves. They're defending this, this, their way of being basically. Um, and their way of being is not good. It's the devil energy. And you know, you're kind of moving forward. You're like, you're starting a new life. You're, you're, you're looking back to the past a little bit, but you're trying to get closure and kind of move on from this energy. Cause I think deep down, you know, you're sick of it. And I think that, I mean, I think this person has a lot of pride and it's like, they're coming in, I feel, but they're coming in as the king of swords. So they're coming in, like, it's like somebody who's using their head and not really using their heart. It's like a more harsh king. It's not like you want, like, you want like a king of cups or a king of pentacles or even occasionally a king of wands. But I don't know about a king of swords, unless you're the logical type yourself, but you know, it's kind of like they're coming in, but they're coming in in like a very like, like not in a romantic way, you know what I mean? Or like not, not that they don't have the romantic feelings for you, but just like the, me like if they message you, I don't feel like it's going to be like really romantic. I almost feel like it's more like a, hey, should we, should we discuss this? 
just kind of like a very like guarded ego pride kind of energy where it's like, okay, that's not sweeping me off my feet right now. Like that's no, no, <laughs> like they're coming in very harsh and very logical. And it's like hinting at what they feel for you, but not letting their pride go and not letting you know what they feel. And so you're in this two of cups where you like, you want this, you might be getting this love offer, but it's coming in as the king of swords. And so it's like, it's a love offer, but it kind of sucks, <laughs> you know? Um, let's see what else we can get here. What does your love life look like if you reject this love offer? Because it's like, I don't know, it's a love offer, but it's like a shitty love offer. It's not good, you know? What does your love life look like if you reject this love offer? Like, what's coming in for you? I feel like new love is coming in for a lot of you guys. So let's see. So what is your love life? So for the Virgos, what does your love life look like if you reject this love offer? Let me read these up right. Oh, I keep mixing my cards up. I feel like going through a period of like introspection where you kind of like reevaluate your life and what you want. Um, and like again, your masculine is in the swords energy. He's not in like cups energy. It's like a very logical. It's like a logical person. It's like somebody who's not willing to let their heart open up. You know, and you don't really want that. And so you have this. You do have this tower that comes in and kind of shakes everything. Well, I think that's happened for you already. But I think it kind of like continues. It's almost like a purging process for you, like letting go of this old energy, letting go of like. See, this is like stagnant energy. Like if you look at her, like look how stagnant she is. She's like bored. She's like bored with her life. She's bored with this connection that she has with the Knight of Swords. She's just not really having it anymore. You know what I mean? Like she's just, she's not happy. She's not moving. She's stagnant. Um, and the Knight of Swords, it's like she's, she's even bored with this offer. She's even bored with this love offer. It's like she's, and you're like, look at him. He's like looking down. He's not even like looking at her. He's not even... He's just like in his head, like, oh, I should do this, I should do that. But you're not seeing any physical evidence of him doing any of these things. It's just in his head of what he could do or what he should have done or this or that. And it's like, you're bored with it. You're done with it. You're tired. Um, and so you have this tower that comes in and kind of shaking this up. And that's, you've already been in that energy, I feel like, the past month or so. Um, but I feel like there's more of a tower. But it's like it's like the the beauty and the breakdown kind of process. It's It's... Like a process of letting go of everything that's not serving you. It's it's getting out of stagnant energy. It's like this this energy that comes and just shakes your life up, and um, like endings of old jobs and careers and old relationships, old family connections, friendships. It's like just this complete shake up, like this this metaphorical death and rebirth, basically. But it's really good. It is really good energy. Like I think it's gonna feel freeing. I feel like you're going to feel emotions you haven't felt in a long time come back up and um, you're going to be out of that stagnant energy that you were in before and um, it's just it's just this rebirth process that I feel if, if you if you let this masculine go I feel, I feel this rebirth process for you basically. Um, it's almost like you've been trying to be strong and survive for so long that you've kind of been holding things back. It's like there's certain things you haven't healed certain things you haven't let go and it's like opening the floodgates it's like allowing the divine and, and your life you know allowing universe your guides to kind of take control in a, in a, in a to a degree and um just it's like just i just see this like flood coming out it's like just just opening things up and um going through this like rebirthing process basically is is the kind of energy that i get um, and just everything gets shaken up. But again, you're going to feel good about it. It's going to be really emotional for you, I think, but you're going to feel good about it. And with the Two of Cups, it's like you still want love. Like you still have that hope and that desire for love. And with the Ten of Swords, it's like the pain is over. You know, like, yes, she feels like she's drowning, but it's like, 
it's like the 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 dawn after the darkness it's like she can kind of see that light she's getting her head above water now she's getting out of that that murky toxic heavy stagnant energy she was in um and seeing the light it's like it's it's like the final you know it's the ten of swords it's like the 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 final battle it's like that's over it's it's and it's interesting too that your masculine kept coming up as the king and the knight of swords and then you're in the ten of swords here which is kind of like or you're feminine however it plays out for you but um it's like you're in that energy where it's it's like that ending of that connection but it's like there's light coming in like it looked like the world looks brighter because you're not in that that um stagnation anymore um And then, you know, you are in this romantic, vulnerable, loving energy. Like, you, you become vulnerable again. You become loving again. But it's, like, more... I just see this, like, this introspective kind of energy, if, if that makes any sense. Like, I just see you... Just healing. It's just this healing process, basically. I just see you, like, opening your heart more and being vulnerable more because you're willing to let go of that old energy. And so your guides kind of almost take control and push all that old energy out and kind of put you through this purging process um, in a number of different aspects of your life, not just not just this relationship that was stagnant, but also like friendships and family and like work, career, anything that was stagnant will be pushed out. And it's like you'll have this like psychic awakening process to like all these gifts coming in psychically, um, all this new energy coming in, new love coming in. It's good and it's like you know that that ship is sailing and you're letting it sail you're staying in your power you're you're like you're kind of sad about it a little bit but you're like you know what i'm going to stay in my power i'm not going to chase that ship i'm not going to i'm a beautiful mermaid i'm not going to go chase that stupid ship i'm not going to do it not worth it and yeah then you're in your power creativity power manifestation like you're just making your life what you want it's like this situation is dead but you don't even care you're not looking at it you know you have like this i think it's like what like electricity in your hand what is that the fuck is that oh it's i don't know why i keep thinking it's electricity every time i say anything it's electricity no it's a this is like the first time i've noticed it it's like a staff with a snake on it i don't know if snakes mean anything to you guys but this is like a powerful person i never noticed that before it's interesting um but yeah it's like this situation is dead but she's not looking at it she doesn't care she's looking forward she's happy she's in her power she's got all these psychic gifts coming in she's got all this abundance coming in all this new vulnerable like things are just moving for you finally like you're out of the stagnation like things start moving for you finally and it's like you're in your power and you're just um i don't know why i hear the snake goddess i don't know what that means but yeah you're you're in your power um basically that's that's kind of where you're at um let's see so can you All right, for the Virgo viewers, can you tell me anything about new love? Like, so once the Virgos that are watching this get in their power, if they're willing to let that, that energy go, whatever that energy is, it could be a friendship too. It's not always necessarily a romantic connection. You know, sometimes I do channel friendships, but most likely it's your masculine or your feminine. You know, you never know. Um, just take it how it resonates. All right, so the question I'm asking now is what does your your love life look like like is there a new love coming in though after after this like is there anything you can say about the love life conclusion yeah conclusion with that with you know like you you're reading you're in a new chapter in your life and yeah, you probably would have somebody coming in that would be more loyal to you. Like you're a loyal person and you would have somebody coming in that would be um, just more loyal and stable and more sure of what they want, I feel. And, you know, retreating and going to this safe place with you and, and realizing, opening their heart to you and realizing that you are their safe place just like they're yours and and going to this this grove energy you know you see i always see that as like i always picture this as like a like see the cat right there it's like a garden it's like this safe sacred space that they would go to with you 
It's like somebody you can be loyal with and will be loyal with you too. And someone who's like willing to be vulnerable and open with you at the same time. Someone who's willing to like be soft and loving and open with you in a way this other person just wasn't. Um, we have forbidden here. Forbidden love. Okay, what? <laughs> Oh, I see what it's trying to tell me. That was fucking confusing for a second. Okay, you see how similar these two cards are, this energy? With the other person, it was, like, forbidden. Like, there was no going to that. I almost see it, like, look how similar they are. I almost see it, like, with the other person, it was, like, forbidden. Like, you were not, the, look at that gate, it's closed. It's like, you were not getting in there. There's, they're too emotionally unavailable for you to get in there. But with the other person, it's like, they're open. You're getting in there, you know what I mean? It's like, this is, this is true love. This is a more, definitely a more stable person, a more loyal person that I feel for you guys. So, yeah, let me know if that resonates. Please like, share, um, subscribe. Thank you, guys.